Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, uh, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome. It's great to have you. And as a quick reminder to all, you know, my focus, you know, my mission, you know, here, here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can across all regions. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel, when you choose to, to like the videos, when you choose to comment, when you choose to uh, to share the information as well. So if you've not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. You know, please like the videos. Uh, please share it. Please comment. Love to hear from you. And then for additional ways that you can learn more about me, learn more about my company, and how I can help take your business at next level, you know, you can check out those links below. And so with that said, our topic for you today, it's eight ways to keep your gym members for years eight ways to keep your gym members for years. Now, before I get into these, I mean, one of the things I want to remind everybody of, here's one of the things that I see on a pretty frequent basis, is so many clubs, they have a monthly attrition percentage of three, four, five, six percent in some cases, okay? And if you have an attrition percentage, just just use four, for example, you know, if your attrition percentage is four percent, you're losing half your members every year. And so one of the things we're always looking to do is we're looking to improve our retention and slow down, you know, that member attrition. Okay. It's one of the best things you can do without ever signing up a brand new member and can make a significant impact on your business. So if you don't know your percentages, go find them out. How many members do you have? How many are canceling each month or how many are you losing each month that don't renew, uh, go delinquent, cancel, whatever. Okay. You know, what is your attrition percentage? Know what it is. Okay. And so I want to give you eight ways to keep your gym members for years and years and years. Okay. Number one on my list is, you know, surprise gifts and discounts. Surprise gifts and discounts. I mean, the, the truth of, of all this is, for everybody, people love to feel appreciated. People love to feel appreciated. I mean, for example, someone gives you a good review. What if you send them a free t-shirt? You know, without them knowing about it. You know, what if you offered, hey, you're working out today, you get a free discount. But offer uh, surprise gifts and discounts. You know, do it without warning, without marketing it. It's to show our appreciation. I appreciate your comments. Appreciate that input. I have a free t-shirt for you. Number two, provide excellent customer service. Now, the thing we want to remember here is the whole secret really to the retention thing is, is the member experience. We want a good experience. And so we want to provide excellent customer service. Let's kind of talk specifically about that. And the way I would define this is we want to give super service. We want to give the customer more than they ever bargained for, more than they ever thought they would get. Okay, and we want to be easy to do business with. We're going to get back with people promptly. We're going to look for solutions to satisfy whatever their issues are. Matter of fact, we're going to commit, you know, to finding solutions to it. But we want to give super service, give them more than they ever expected. The way I've always liked to look at it, we want to give a country club level service at a health club price. Number three, customer surveys. Do customer surveys. Okay, this is it's one of the easiest things to do, and it tells you what's on the mind of your members, or for that matter, what's on the mind of your prospects. You know, what are they thinking? What do they want? Because the thing is, if we're not having these kind of interactions with our customers, guess who may be? Could be your competition. Okay, so do regular customer surveys. You know, what are they thinking? What do they like? What do they not like? And you know, one of the things too, and kind of on the customer surveys part of it, in the event you got complaints or things like that, you know, consider a customer complaint a gift. Okay, because they may have pointed out something that maybe you hadn't realized. Maybe the customer's right. Okay, um, number four, be active in your community. You know, get active in your community. Okay, give back. Don't just take, take, take. Give back. You know, what more can we do in our community? Okay, you know, get active in it. You know, do fundraisers. You know, uh, there's a host of things 
uh, that you can get involved in in your community that's it's going to do an awful lot of good. It's going to give you, from a marketing standpoint, it's going to give you an awful lot of publicity. But this is also your chance to give back. You just don't want to take, take, and take. Okay, so get active in your community. Number five, keep your members informed. You know, the communication thing's a big one. You know, keep your members informed. You've got, you know, email, okay, newsletters. You've got, you know, texting uh, opportunities. Uh, you've got, you know, all your social media accounts. You've got, believe it or not, you can actually put something in the mail to somebody, okay. You've got phone calls. Uh, you can have, you know, live chat uh, on your website. Now, we suggest Facebook Messenger for that. It's free. Most people have it. Okay, but keep members informed. Keep the communication levels strong. Let your members know what's going on. Keep them in tune. You know, because part of the secrets, you know, to gyms that really do well long term is that they stay as new today as they were, you know, when they first opened. Make sure your members know what's happening. You know, what kind of improvements are going on? What's happening? You know, do press releases. You know, on, on uh, not only on what's happening in your facility, but maybe with some of your members and you know some of the great results you know that they've gotten. Uh, number six um, on our list of eight ways to keep gym members for years. Number six is your member onboarding. Okay, onboarding your member. So here's the thing you want to know right here. What we know that is true from a, a data standpoint, statistical standpoint, is your members that'll use your gym 20 times first 60 days. These are the folks that are most likely to stick with you long term. The ones that don't do that, those can be a little problematic. Okay, we want to get them onboarded quick. So a new member onboarding. And so some of the things that I suggest on this new member onboarding and even just kind of customer onboarding, you know, for longer periods. But new member onboarding, you know, using your 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 CRM, using text messaging and emails and social media and phone calls and mail and everything you have. To be able to communicate but we want to motivate we want to inspire we want to educate we want to coach we want to incentivize we want to do all these things encouraging people to come in okay and so that's part of that first 60 days strong okay and making sure that we're showing folks how to use the equipment how to get results you know you know one of the things that we've actually done in many gyms is you know we've put up what we call a 10 minute board Okay, where people can sign up, your members can sign up for 10 minutes with a trainer every single month. It's a great way to give additional service, give additional comfort, uh, additional reassurance. Plus, it's a great way to get your trainers in front of potentially new clients. Okay, so new member onboarding is, is big. Make sure we get them in there quick and get them involved and stay focused on why they're there. They're not there to work out, okay, in a sense. They're there to get their problem solved, get their solution to what their problem is. They want to lose weight because they want to get off medication. They want to lose weight because they're getting married, whatever it might be. Okay, stay focused on that. Okay. Uh, number seven, use gamification. Turn this into a game. Turn it into a game. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. You know, one of the favorite ones that we used to do many times is, you know, we would do when we're trying to increase our member workouts, get more people in, you know, we'd run a bust your buns contest, a member contest, okay? And one of those things where kind of everybody wins a little bit, but work out 15 times this month and get a free bust your buns t-shirt. Okay, people loved it. We kept track inside the club and everybody got involved and it was a fun thing to do, but we turned it into a game. Okay, so consider gamification on some of this. Make it fun. Make it fun. And then last on my list, okay, uh, number eight on eight ways to keep gym members for years is be personal. You want a sense of community. Okay, and here's what I mean by this. When I talk about be personal, sense of community, you want to treat folks not like they're a customer. Okay. We're here to provide. We're here to help. We're help to get them results. By doing that, they may indeed become customers in other things. I and mean, that's another marketing conversation. But that sense of community, it's not just trying to sell them something all the time. It's trying to serve them. Okay? And so don't just look at them as a customer. 
All right, so be personal. So eight ways to keep gym members for years. This can really pay dividends for you. You know, if you're struggling a bit with getting new members in, one of the first things you can do is let's focus on keeping what we have. So go back and check what is your attrition, okay? I know from my standpoint, you know, the goals I have in many cases, you know, I like to get it down to two, two and a half percent. Then even then we have some, you know, some thoughts on how we can drive that down even further. But this can make a significant impact on your bottom line. So folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Appreciate y'all being here today. And again, as a quick reminder, you know, my focus here on the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can across all regions. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to hit that subscribe button and when you choose to, you know, generally interact with the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please subscribe. And again, to learn more about me, and to learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out those links below. And we'll look forward to seeing you all in that next video.